Hello everybody, welcome to Burax Loft. I hope you enjoy the video. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you enjoyed the video today, so please like, share, and leave a comment below, and thank you for watching. But anyways, today I'd like to talk about um, feathering, and when shouldn't you fly your birds, when shouldn't you fly your birds in races, and even fluff flying for that matter. But uh, it all depends on, everybody has their own opinion, of course, guys, this is my only my opinion, so, you know, if you guys don't like it, that's, I understand that, you know. Like I said, everybody's got their own opinion, this is just my opinion on how I look at things, you know. This bird here is from Danny's line. He's uh, the old guy that's on YouTube there, so I don't know if you guys have seen his channel or not, but this pigeon is actually from him. I bought it a few years ago before he got rid of his birds and uh, on the auction, so. But anyways, like I said, I wanted to kind of show you, so. Anyways, most birds have 10 primary feathers. These are, you can only hear you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, he got, and these are your secondary feathers. Okay, and these are your cover leather, covering, cover feathers. But anyways, um, as you can see here, he has all his fe primary feathers and his secondary feathers. But as as you guys know, I moved last year, and I'm actually read home to him right now. He's like he off flies right now, no problem. He comes right back, which is awesome. I have his mate here too, so which is kind of cool. But uh, anyways, like I said, when he's nice and healthy right now, I would have no problem with racing him, you know, if I could race him. But right now, of course, I can't because he is a 2019 band on him. And I could probably maybe race him next year, but I might give him another year or two yet before I would even try that, at least another year anyway. So just to make sure, he, you know, he does it. But... I like to breed a couple more babies out of him first before I try to do that. So, but he is a you know great looking bird, and my turkeys are over here talking, crazy birds. But anyways, like I said, I just wanted to kind of show you what they look like. You know, as you can see, his feathers are nice and per pretty. They're not, uh, you know, you can see. It. I don't know if you guys can see that in the video or not, but he's shaking pretty good. That's a good thing. He has all his tail feathers. Some of the young birds here I got showing you right now, they're in a big time molt, and I would not race them right now because of the way they are. And I also want to show you my two birds that won the 250 mile race for me, so, which is awesome. So I kind of show you this and what they look like, so. <laughs> this guy here is not cooperating very well. But as you can see, he's molting really bad. He's one of my raised here. All right, cut it out. He don't like me held right now. That's all right, he'll be okay. But God, he is just being stubborn today, I tell you. All right, let me get a hold of him good. There we go, now I got him good. As you can see here, his primary, I mean, his secondary feathers are falling out. He's got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All his ten feathers. But he just came back, so he's just starting to get into molt really bad. So you can see here his face. You know, you can see how bad he's molting really bad. So, But I got a few birds in here, too, that are missing a few of the feathers. I wouldn't hesitate to raise a bird when it's got the last three primary feathers. Okay, but if it's missing, you know, the, you know, 10, 9, the eighth feather, I probably would not raise it. But anything below that, I would race. So, as you can see here, he's like I said, he's not, not cooperating very well with me. But like I said, his, all his feathers are there. He's molting bad, so he don't look very pretty. So, but anyways, we'll let him go. <laughs> but I want to show you one of these other ones too. Like this one here. There's also, you see how bad he's molting really bad. He's got body mount really really bad he's missing tail feathers see you know he, he would not probably race very good not very fast i've seen people send their birds when they're like this and they wonder why they don't come home but me personally i would never send a bird like this just for a couple of reasons i mean their their feathers is what makes them help glide through the air nice and they're there if they're missing a bunch like this guy is they would have a hard time getting home 
just because you know it hurts them when they're flying like this. They don't fly as fast. And then, as you can see here, he's missing the one, two, three, say, ten, nine, eight, seventh feather. He's missing the seventh feather. And you can, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's coming in, but it's way down here. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but yeah, he's missing his uh, seventh feather, so, which is okay. Like I said, even now, you know, he can loft fly yet, but if they get much worse, worse than this for body molt, I probably never wouldn't loft fly him anymore. I just let him, you know, stick around here or just stick in the loft and that's it. Because they have a hard time getting away from the birds, I mean, uh, hawks and stuff like that when they're like that. So, like I said, guys, these are my opinions. So, everybody's got their own opinion. But uh, we're going to let him go. Here's another one that actually had got given to me this year. He's a really late hatch this year, so he's not body molten yet at all. I can't say that. You do is, is a little bit here by the neck. All right, cut it out. But the guy was trying to go for a specific color and didn't get the color he wanted. And the guy does race really good against uh, the rest of us in the club. So it's like he offered some birds. I was like, well, I'll take a few of them. So. All right, all right. Quit fighting here. Yeah. He is losing a few wing feathers, you know, so you got, he's missing this one right here. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but uh, he's missing it. It is coming in, which is nice, so. But it is, it is a gorgeous looking bird. I do believe it's a hen, so. But, and it's got all those tail feathers, see? For some reason, I'm having a heck of a time hanging on to them. They're still kind of pretty slick, so. But you got some pretty colors on it. Like I said, I would have no problem racing this bird right now, just because of the way this is set up. You know, it's missing this feather here, which is okay. You know, like I said, if it's missing this one here, I would not fly it, okay? Especially the last two, I never fly up one is that way, ever. Like I said, if it was full of body molt like that, like the last ones were, you know, you can see that all the head was all full of, you know, all the missing all their feathers and pin feathers and all that stuff, so I wouldn't fly it then. But this guy here, I would have no problem flying, so. Like this one here, how, how he's missing all his pin feathers that are on his head. See that? All right, quit hold, just hold still. Hold still. You can see that better, guys? See, I was missing all the pen feathers. Yeah, you wouldn't want to fly it when it's like that, so. Just because it's, like I said, it has, it has a dragon on them, so if I got, they wouldn't fly very good. This one here, as you can see here, you can see the feather coming in now. That's why I, I kind of pulled this bird so you can see it. See? It's coming in. That's good, though. And their feathers are not pretty, you know, at all right now, because like I said, they're molting so bad. It's funny, you can scrape the loft one day and you come out here, you can almost make a pillow out of how many feathers are in the loft. It's crazy. I, I don't like this time of year. I've heard some people say that you can give them carrot juice and it helps with their molt really bad. I mean, so they, you know, molt easier and stuff like that. It's better for them and stuff like that. But me, I haven't tried that yet. I've been waiting to try it, but I haven't tried it yet. But anyways... If you guys got questions too, just please, you know, let me know. I'd be more than happy to help and answer any questions if I can. If I don't, you know. All right, guys. This one here is one of them that came in at second place and for my the race of 250 miles. As you can see here, it's got all those feathers yet. I'm missing a couple here and back in the tail feathers here. Not bad. I mean, it still looks really nice, really buoyant, which is actually, you know, she's a hen. And uh, as you can see the feathers difference, so. 
But yeah, she's half Sion, half Jensen, and Hubin. So, she did really good. I was actually just impressed with her. But the next one here I was going to show you is the uh, one that won my first race and my last race. I'll show you that one next. All right, guys, here's that bird that won first place in my 109 mile race and the 250 mile race for me. It's a grizzle. I got this bird from uh, Adrian P. I had gotten a few birds from him. I raced the birds. I actually, I bred quite a few birds out of it. I gave one to Adrian P. And it did pretty good for him. And this one here, like I said, one really good to me for me too. So, like I said, I just wanted to kind of show you. The bird is it's a grizzle, but it looks like more of a dark check. But uh, her mother is a dark, dark grizzle. Kind of like this, a little bit lighter, lighter in color, but her her dad is a blue check, so. But she is a beautiful looking bird, and uh, so I wanted to kind of show you the size difference here between them, between Danny's bird and this one here, so. All right, guys, here's that basket I just made and showed you guys, so. I'm just going to open it up here so you guys can see see what these birds look like. You can see in here, but I'm going to open the door a little bit better so you can maybe see. As you can see, there's Danny's bird. And there's the two yellow bandits with a racing chip on them. These two are here in the end. That's uh, the one my two 250-mile winter racers, so, which is kind of cool. Because I wanted to kind of show you the size difference between them. He's a lot bigger than they are but of course he is older too so but it's all right guys i just want to show you i hope you guys enjoyed the video today i'm going to show you the young birds the babies yet here before then it's all said and done here so stay tuned guys these are falling from the trees all right guys i wanted to show you the babies and what they look like it's funny you get two white parents in here these are the parents it's got one little black speck on it right and uh this baby here is all white yep see all white looks really nice okay i don't mean it's got a little poop on it but and you got this one here. She's got, or he has got, a little bit of a brown spot right here. <laughs> I hope the, the guy that wants it is okay with that. So I guess I'll have to ask him when he sees him. So, all right, maybe I'll see it in the video too. Who knows? But, anyways, like I said, and then we got these ones. They're all, both pairs are all white. Cover one, I think the cockbird's got one little black speck in it. And he's going, or going to Mikey Ridge, Mike to Rocky Ridge. As you can see here, the tail feather on the one, he's all black on the tails. All right. What do you do, guys? All right. Isn't that crazy? Oh, yeah, this one here is all white. See? Baby's looking good. Here's mama there. And then we got this one. This is out of White Lightning and, and uh, her mate. So, as you can see, I told you before, he's got some black spots, or not black spots, but some grizzles in them. This one here is all white. Yeah, yeah you're looking big, aren't you? Yeah. This is a pair that uh, won me the, the 250 mile winner and the 100 mile winner. So these are the pairs I told you how, see I told you she looks, uh, she's a grizzle, more of a dark grizzle. So and down here, these guys are looking good. I just got done banding these guys. So these Sions are just a hair too small, but don't daddy's sitting on babies. 
Uh, the, baby, the bands will fall off too easy, so I didn't put the baby bands on them. A pair of Sion's there. We got another pair of Sion's down here. The baby's there. I just got done banding. They're big enough to band. And then we got, I'll show you those guys, but these are here, the bush charts. And these babies are just a hair too small. I didn't band them because the band falls off too easy. And when you put a band on it, it falls off really easy. But these are the red pair. Hopefully they turn out red. But I just got done banding all those, so. But all, oh, guys, the birds are looking really good in here. The only thing is I don't like is, as you can see, I put a little extra sand in here. Because me working this week here, I work 65 hours this week. And it's really tough to get in here and scrape. So, as you can see here, it's all wet. I don't like that. So, I put sand down to help see if I can soak some of that up. That's my plan anyways. So I don't see if it works or not. So, I only tried a couple nest spots. So, just see how it works. But overall, birds are looking really good, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. So please like, share, and leave a comment below, and thank you for watching.